Have you like have you seen little girls who have seen this yet? Have you talked to any kids who've seen it? No, I haven't. I haven't seen it with an audience full of kids, and I'm dying to. Yeah. I also haven't seen it in 3D. Oh yeah. So I'm excited to go into a theater kind of incognito and watch it with a bunch of kids in 3D. Yeah. So when you see the character for the first time and like you see what she's gonna look like compared to you, like what's what's the reaction when you realize your what your version of the Disney princess is gonna look like? I mean, I don't see a lot of myself in her physically. Mm -hmm. I've been told that we look alike, but I see my mannerisms, mm -hmm. um, and I talk a lot with my hands, and she does as well. And definitely, my the attributes in my physicality, like that I am clumsy, and she is clumsy, and that I snort when I wake up sometimes, <laughs> and so does she. Those kind of things. Um, she seems very familiar. Have you gotten any kind of insane swag in your house for this yet? No, I was given one of the Anna dolls. Oh yeah? Yeah, which is very exciting because it's just the the intricacies of her outfit. They researched the heck out of all of these like sort of Nordic uh, costumes and made them, they're really true to life. And so it's a beautiful, beautiful doll. Yeah. Now would you take Anna's costumes or would you take Elsa's like Snow Queen dress if you had like the real life choice? Anna, it's too yeah. much for me. I'm not a ball gown girl. Oh yeah? No, it's yeah. too much. They're too heavy, those dresses. Well, she's got like the good, like the patterns on there. Maybe you want to like wear a sweater, like one of those, you know, Norwegian like snowflake print sweaters. All yeah. of those clothes. Uh, yeah, those um, Fair Isle yeah, type yeah, sweaters. Yeah, exactly. Those are nice. Yeah. But if some of those gowns are too tight, too heavy. But if oh, they yeah. were made of sweater material or it was more of a robe mm -hmm. si type situation. Yep. Something I'm something comfortable that's like for lounging around the house. Yes. I mean, the Disney marketing department is so insane that probably exists. I think we should get on this, honestly, <laughs> if we don't. I know there's jammies. Oh, yeah? Yeah, there are Olaf jammies. Oh, do you? So I've put in for those. Josh was telling me that his dog has been chewing on the talking Olaf toy, which I, apparently he finds terrifying. Weird, weird Josh. There's probably <laughs> going to be a talking Anna, right? Like I, can... There is. I've seen it. You yeah. touch her hands and she starts to sing to you. Can you terrify your pets with that? Or are you not, uh, are you not sadistic enough No, to I'm do sure. That? I wouldn't dare touch her hands. I can <laughs> I barely listen to myself on my own answer. Oh, yeah. Machine. Of course. I have one of those things where you just hear yourself and you're like, nope. Whoa! <laughs> that? It's a hundred foot drop! It's two hundred. Ow! What's that for? I'm digging a snow anchor! Okay, what if we fall? There's 20 feet of fresh powder down there. It'll be like landing on a pillow. Hopefully. <sighs> hey, Anna. On three. Okay. One. You tell me when. I'm ready to go. Two. I was born ready. Yes. Calm down. <laughs> what the? Whoa! That happened. Now I know that you were a Disney princess kid, as you know. You've talked about how you were the big Ariel fan. Like, do yeah. you now that you've kind of got, seen it from the other side? Like, do you know what the secret is that has little girls obsessed with princesses? Like, what's cracked that code for you? I think only a, a genetic researcher can crack that code. It's in our DNA <laughs> mm -hmm. to be gatherers, and it's in the the male DNA to be hunters. It's why little boys will always be more rambunctious and destructive, and little girls will always gravitate towards frou frou dresses. No one knows why. Yeah, you know, where we we balance each other. But I think that these movies are shaped by so many smart minds. There were over six hundred people working on this film, and so there are six hundred smarty pants looking at what themes were relevant right now and what what kids would be interested in and what would benefit them and what would entertain also the rest of the family um, or people without kids that liked animation so I think there's just there's a lot of really smart young minds on these projects and that's why they're so appealing